All right, this is a very short video. Uh, it's terribly, terribly hot. I gave it another try. Uh, I got the holes in the rim here, as somebody had suggested. Uh, I put this uh, aluminum nail down, and I drilled a hole here that all the thing did is just pull right out. So that idea is gone. I still had to struggle with it, but I got I got it off. I added some more um, dishwashing liquid and and water in here. This is um, um, leak test for propane. And the thing was almost empty, but it has the brush on it. So I lubricated everything up. Um, it looks all rusty or dirty or something. It's a little rusty, but it's not sharp. Um, I can't get this out. I tried. I followed videos. I've been watching videos on this. Uh, but I didn't, my intention was not to pull this completely out anyways. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to get it out so that I can see how the tube is inside. I can feel a cord in there, like a string. Does it go very, very easy in case there's something sticking out in here? I don't feel anything. Now the hole in each tire is up here in the side of the thread, okay? And I had numerous people tell me to plug them and be done with it. That's true. I could have could have done that. But I got the tubes. I'll show them to you. See, I won't have to bother my garage to have them do that. I'll just tell them to put the tubes in, you know? I don't feel any any um, thing sharp coming through the tire, and that's all I wanted to do is just remove it like this. Looks good. I had a hell of a time breaking the bead on the other side. A hell of a time. Uh, I jumped up and down. It did nothing. Uh, I banged on it with this, and you know they tell me to t you know one guy you had use a sledgehammer. Well, that's fine. If you use a sledgehammer, I will miss and hit the rim and bend it. You know, if it can happen, it will with me. So I ended up jumping on it enough times that it did break it. I had to put the um, soap on there and get it to go through. Uh, so as I am running my hand gently through this, I don't feel anything that's going to be hazardous to the tube. There is a, a string about that long that goes from one side to the other, and I could get my hand in there. I don't really know what it is, but it's probably part of the tire, and I'm going to try to cut it. It's very thin. It's like a heavy, um, very heavy sewing thread. But I don't feel anything on that inside the tire, so I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe all the way around. Of course, the, we don't have to worry about the bead, but this is uh, rough. So let me come back a minute here. Tommy's doing the recording. Okay, hit this. With a little sandpaper here. We're not going to use this as a, you know, a tubeless, uh, tubeless tire. It looks dirty. It's dirty, but it's, you know, you don't have to worry about the bead there because we're not, like I say, using it for tubeless tire. So uh, we're putting a tube in it. Dirty or rusty or uh, something? I don't really know. It looks almost like paint. It's not really bad. It's nothing sharp in there at all. I will leave the valve stem in. I'll let them take care of that. It's a little hard to do this side because I can't pull this out. I tried putting a bar in here and trying to do it. I just can't. I just can't do it. That's all. Laugh at me if you want, folks, but I can't do it. Because I know you will. Got to be an experienced tire guy. If you've been doing it all your life, it's second nature to you, as I kept saying. And that's a little... Just there and wanna 
make sure that it's not going to hurt the tube. And that's what I was concerned with, just to make sure. With a little. Okay, here's what uh, one of my channels I watched them on tires. Uh, what they call welding slag right here, because these are welded together. There's a little piece right there, and this is what, I, don't get any closer, because it won't focus in. I just want to file that out, because my garage is not going to do that, you know. Because the tube will get a worn spot in it, and it'll puncture. Thank goodness there's no slime in here, otherwise I'd have a hell of a time cleaning it out because I can't get this out. Yes, I've tried doing it with this. And I guess I could. Maybe I'll try. Maybe I'll try. I don't have my jig. Uh, it's not on the jig. It's not going to do any good because this is turning anyway. But we'll try it since uh, we got Tommy's got the camera out here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. <laughs> Everybody telling me to do it a certain way. It's, you know, you're not perfect at anything. No, half ass. Get it, Charlie. We'll do it like I've been doing it. We'll clean it the best I can. As long as there's no sharp edges and there isn't any, we're fine. Yep. The main thing is we don't want to damage the tube. No, we don't. We got another little piece here. It's this yeah. welding slag that that guy was talking about. Everybody makes it look so damn easy. It is not easy. It is not easy. You break the tube, you'll have no well, tube. You, well, if you put your tire. punch to the tube, then the tire, I'm going to be pumping it up forever. You know? Then I will be forced to put slime in the tubes, which people have suggested, but why do that? Ew. Unless you've got something that's going to constantly puncture the tube inside. That's really what you have to watch out for, is in this area here. Wash it down a little bit. Looks good. Yeah, well it's not perfect. I mean I'm not gonna go to the trouble of sanding it down and painting it and everything else. You don't really need to do that. The hardest part is trying to get this rim out here because I can't get this thing out. Okay. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments and you should have done this and you should have done that, but I'm working 80 degree weather here. I can't stand the lousy hot weather and I'm doing the best I can. I'm, it's like, what is it, about 6 o'clock now, Tom? 6.03. Yeah. Well, I waited this long because it's so humid. I come out here and I had uh, biting flies, which we haven't had last year, all around me. I got the, I'm zapping, every time I swing this thing, you, I'm hitting mosquitoes. Oh. And the humidity isn't supposed to be too bad today, and believe it or not, the next couple days, but the heat is going to be terrible, so yep. I want to get this, I want to get this prepared, and I think I'm confident now. This is dirty. I'm not worried about the dirt. It's sticky too, and I don't know. Uh, some cleaner here. I don't know what it is. It's probably slime from years ago that what one time might have been in here. It'd be very difficult for me to take slime out of here, washing it out and everything, if you can't get the rim out. That is why I did not want to use the slime. 
because I knew I could, if I get this out, I'm only going to get one part of it out. I'm not going to get the whole thing. That's still sticky. I don't know what it is. But my garage will take care of it. I got the burrs out. That's what I'm worried about. I have to do the other best. Yeah, well, now that's all right. I, I accomplished what I wanted to put it to do. And no, I'm not going to try to put the tubes in. I will pinch them with these. I will chew them up trying to put it on. An experienced tire guy is the only way to go. Somebody that's done this for years and years and years, yes, they can do it. If I was doing, if I started when I was, uh, when I started working on cars, which uh, was about, oh, let's see, 1964, when I got my 50 Studebaker Champion, that's when I started learning about cars. So 64, uh, I was born in 43, 63 would be 20, I was 21 years old. 21 was, years old, 127 pounds, skinny bean pole. I wasn't even born. Now I'm 160 pounds, ugly as hell, and skinny as a bean pole. I wasn't even born. No, you then. weren't born. <laughs> you couldn't have been born then. Okay. All right. One more check here. I had to go in my shop. I couldn't find a small uh, diagonal pliers, cutters. All right, this is going to be blind. I don't want to pull on it. I'll tell you, boy, I just felt something sharp in the tire before I cut that. I. There's a nail in here. Oh. Right here. I wonder who put the nail in. You probably ran it over. I just happened to feel it was in the middle. That's going to be hard because I can't see in there. It's very, very sharp too. There it is, right there. There it is. Are you gonna do the uh, other tire today? I gotta, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to push that too. I gotta go by feel, I can't see it. So we can dig it out of here. I'll do the editing on this video. I don't know. This'll be it. head came off and the nail is still in there. Ah, oh, I should have my magnifying glass, I can't see anything. I wish I could help you, but. Good thing I didn't bring this to my garage, because uh, uh, he wouldn't check for that. Oh man, it's hot. It is. I don't know why I started this today. It is hot out the here. The whole week is going to be lousy. Yep. And I, I'm staying in the house, watching YouTube videos, listening to music, play video games maybe. I might maybe. have to just leave it in there and have him take it out. I don't know, I still see it though. See something. Yeah, my eyes are bad. I see something in there. Yeah, yeah. I think I got it and I don't. Don't get there stabbed it by it. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Nail. It's about something. a half inch long. There it is right there. Yeah. Now that was sticking out about that much. Which means. My mechanic would have put the tube in, and I would have had a leak. Yep, and you don't want that. And and I won't pay to have them done again. I'll just put slime in it, and uh, that would be the end of it. And I don't want to do that. So now I'm gonna take a cloth and run it around in here. Like get caught on something, I'd rather have it get caught on the cloth.
I will still ask him to check because in my eyesight, I don't trust myself on these things. Mm -hmm. It's amazing what you can do even though you got bad eyesight. It really is. Yeah, that's just a piece of paper towel or something, I guess. Just go gently around. All right, now we're going to cut that string out that I started to do. This will be an interesting it. video. <laughs> I lost it. There it is. Can't get my cutters on it. There it is. Can't go by feel on the cutters. Well, I can only take one end off. I can't get the other one, and I don't want to pull it because I don't know what it'll do. All right. I want to still try to get the other tire off. Now, the other tire's never had the bead broken at all. This thing didn't work out at all. That's an aluminum nail from uh, when we had our gutters. It fit the hole good, but it was no good. Uh, I tried something else in there and it just pushes over. It doesn't hold. So that idea is out the window. Now you gotta try to get that rim back no, in the tire. that's gonna be a challenge. Watch out. <laughs> this will be an interesting video, folks. Comedy. Yeah. Watching the old goat. If worse comes to worst, I'll just bring him to my garage like this. He's got to take him apart anyways. Oh, man. Anybody hot. that likes this hot weather is nuts in the head, and I'll tell him right to the face. <laughs> I hate this crappy weather. It is hot out here. It's either raining all the time, and the temperature's right, but you're getting rained on every day. Yesterday was a good day. It was about... Oh, I guess the upper 60s, but it was raining, so it couldn't mm -hmm. do nothing. So you can't win. Now, now let's see. Let's get one. Now it comes to one. Yeah, right. Got to get this back on here, yeah, right? Well, we'll give it a try. Can't say I didn't try. Thank God we got AC because without it, we wouldn't oh, live. I, we wouldn't. I can't keep this thing from. Oh, too slippery. Too much. Too much lube on it. Give it a bear hug, he says. <laughs> She's got to be kidding me. <laughs> and I'm going to put a tube in this? I can't even get the tire back on. Can you imagine what I'd be doing with the tube now? you got to use two bars, but I, I, this thing's going all over the place. payday. Wait till Friday afternoon. I'll bring this over to my garage. 
I'll have them put it on. There's no point in closing it all up. It's only going to um, open it up anyways and take the two, uh, take the stem out. Hang on a minute. I'll get you the tubes. I'll show them to you. There's one. There's the other. And the correct sizes are on here. Oh, those are the tubes. Those are the tubes. Innertube.com. Well, the the uh, YouTube channel, I think, was another, uh, not the YouTube channel, the eBay auction was a different name. But anyways, they, the receipt, the bill of, uh, bill of sale was uh, Innertube.com. All right, enough of this nonsense. I'm sweating like a pig out here. Me too. Killing me. It's awfully hot out here. <laughs> Ain't gonna get that together, but at least I got it open. And I found that little nail. Yep. Tell you the truth, I don't feel like struggling with the other one, and I'm not going to. The other one I had off, I took the C-clip out, and it came right off, no problem. Um, we're going to put this in the shed because we're not going to be able to get to my garage until Friday afternoon when I get a little extra money. I don't know what he's going to charge, and I'm figuring about $10 a wheel. That ain't bad, though. That's $20. <laughs> I might get through with this thing, boy, I'll tell you. I got the inner tubes, folks, so please don't t keep telling me about the uh, plugging the tires and putting slime in it. I've got the tubes. See them right here? <laughs> Sorry to repeating myself, but you know, I have to, have to do that because some people either have not watched the other videos or ignore what I say. And that's usually the case. That's why I have a bad habit of repeating myself because sometimes when I'm in conversation, uh, in years past, I'm talking in a group of people and they talk over me, ignore me, and I have a tendency to repeat myself because I don't know if that person heard what I had to say. Person probably didn't care what I had to say. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to do here, we're going to put a plastic bag over the axle. It's got grease on it, I put a lot of grease on it, but we're going to put an axle, we're going to cover it up to protect it, and uh, we're going to, matter of fact, I'm going to leave all these out. I'm going to put these in a little container. Keep it from I'm getting dirty. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I put a, um, take, click these, I take this. What are those? Here's the uh, washers, here's the uh, E-clip. Here's the key and the cover. Oh. Put these over here because I'm going to put them in a little container. We don't want to lose them. I got to get a wire tie, cable tie, and tie that bag in there. I'll be right back. All right. I just want to keep it because we get some rain or something. I want to just protect it. That's all. That's all we need to do. All right, I got everything out of there. This is on blocks. Oh, man. I need a shower tonight. It's very hot out here. <laughs> I can't take this crappy weather. 
How people live in Florida, I'll never know. <laughs> I'll never know. You gotta stay in air conditioning all the time. You can't enjoy the outside. I'm not a beach person. I can't stand the hot sun. I can never see these fools laying on the beach and baking themselves like lobsters. Ugh. Never made any sense. I never was, even when I was a kid. I remember telling you we lived in New Haven. I used to have a little workshop down in the cellar. Oh, it was so nice and cool down in the cellar in the summertime. All right. Um, that's it. I'm not going to bother taking the other one. I'm just going to bring it whole and I'm going to ask him to check. I'll tell him I took this one apart so you don't have to check for any nails sticking out or burrs or whatever. But I'll ask him to check the other tire for burrs. You see, when they do that, you're going to pay more. I mean, you know, it goes without saying, you know. You want more done, uh, they're going to charge you more. Yep, they will. I try to do a lot of the stuff myself, but some of it I can't. Oh, God, it's hot. Ugh. Well, you should be working a little bit, and you'll, then you'll know when you start working up a terrible sweat. My father was a landscape gardener, and he'd work out in the hot sun, and then way before my dad married and had this old fart that you're looking at right now, my dad had got heat stroke Ugh. and had to go to the hospital. Well, he called it sunstroke. No fun. Well, it's too late to take these back because they're used in the out of the wrappers and I'm not going to worry about it. I can use them for pie bars. But I guess kind of an expensive check on the inside of the tire. I could have had my garage do it for probably the extra cost of these things. But it's done now. So I'm going to start putting this stuff away. I'm going to get a container for that. I'll do that off camera. Keep the bug uh, zapper out here, Tom. I want to, in case I get bugged by any uh, mosquitoes and stuff. Yep. But that's it. Tom, you're going to do the editing on this and put it together? Yes, I will. All right. No need to speed it up. Nope. So, uh, putting the uh, nail down through this didn't work out. Probably, if I had a long, skinny bolt, uh, maybe a quarter inch in diameter, which I don't have, I could have probably drilled all the way through and put a bolt in there and hold it from spinning. And, uh, but you can see that I couldn't get the, um, the tire, the other side of the tire off. Once the rim is discombobulated from the tire, you know, <laughs> uh, this thing becomes useless. Okay, thanks for watching. See you all later. Have a good day. Keep cool. I'm going to. I'm going to sit in front of the AC when I get cleaned up.